Over the past few hours, we are seeing the clusters of the earthquakes appearing in the Sorsengi volcanic system area of the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland. These are the uh, few of the earthquakes from previous days, then coming to today. As you can see, I'll mark them again for you. And they're moving all the time. Now we have another one from the Reykjanesta. And when you look at them, how they happen and the strength of this earthquake, you see that they're very tiny ones. They're mostly uh tectonic and some of them the small ones you see at the end to the right they are actually magmatic probably when we follow that on the depth chart them like this you will see the depth of them practically from anything uh, around seven to two kilometers this is along the area that is practically the fault line the edge of the you know, rift valley in the uh, Thorbjorn hill that sharp rising hill that you see this is a face of the fault line i have marked it here you can see green Lake and blue lagoon i marked the green Lake and blue lagoon again for you here uh, this is the map of that area this is the blue lagoon and this is green Lake. and the area that is this uh, rising the thermals has happened in the clusters of earthquake all along this line and then where is the k1 is the yellow and the orange is where we had a hagelfog crack appearing. This is quite possible, the areas that we have, we will have the next eruption. Previous eruption happened somewhere around, uh, you know, toward the left of the center, but eventually they ended up in the K1. This is a crater K1, as we call it. And Grindavik is also another near it, near the hagelfog crack. We may have that hagelfog crack is along those bays in the, port of the Grindavik. The dike practically having around 16 to 18 million cubic meters of the magma rising through it gradually and eventually through the gassing and the eruption we will see that volcanism happen again in this area. Amazing things are going to happen.